More than 10 million sports-related injuries occur in the world every year. To avoid this, athletes and coaches alike are using a variety of pre-competition techniques to decrease injuries and increase performance. But what does science tell us about stretching and warming up? Many studies have looked at how stretching can affect athletic performance, and it turns out it depends on the activity. Sports such as figure skating and snowboarding, which require a wide range of motions to impress the judges, certainly benefit from an athlete's flexibility. But for power sports like speed skating and bobsledding, too much stretching may actually cause a temporary decrease in muscle strength. The overstretched muscle becomes less responsive and can stay weakened for up to 30 minutes. Although athletic competitions can be strenuous, there's little evidence to suggest that stretching before or after a competition decreases muscle soreness. Some studies have even noted that extreme flexibility can lead to an increase in the range of stretching without pain. And if you can't feel pain, the body doesn't know when to stop pushing. As a result, injuries can occur. Another large study of athletes found that the least and most flexible participants were 2.5 times more likely to incur an injury. So when it comes to flexibility in competitive sports, it's most beneficial to be moderately flexible. A well-designed warm-up is also extremely beneficial. The term itself comes from the positive effects of raising the temperature of your body before a competition. Slowly increasing physical intensity prior to a sport increases muscle temperature, ultimately allowing your muscles to contract more forcefully. More forceful contractions equals more strength and power. Furthermore, slowly adding movement to your muscles opens up the blood vessels, allowing blood to flow more easily throughout the body and decreases the strain on your heart. Finally, as your blood temperature increases, your blood cells actually hold less oxygen. This loose oxygen is then free to be used by your muscles, increasing overall endurance. Science says it's important not to overstretch it when it comes to flexibility, but physically warming up your body before each specific sport might help you burn the competition. Don't forget, we have a new video out every day during the Olympics. Can't wait? Our amazing partners at the CBC already have five of the videos up now for you to binge on. Just head to cbc.ca slash olympics slash science says to watch them before anyone else. Link in the description. But we also want to know your questions for this special series. Use the hashtag science says and let us know your burning Olympic questions. And subscribe for more awesome science videos.